Good evening. I'm Scott Gustafson, and I teach economics. I teach economics at Mesa Community College, and we have a very diverse student population. And you don't always know what it is they're thinking when they come walking into the room. But on occasion, they come, well, OK, sometimes you do know what they're thinking when they come walking into the room. But I had an interesting question that came out from one of my students one day. She came in and she asked, what would be the economic effects of a zombie attack? I didn't know, but I figured I'd go find out. Now, one of the things that an economist always likes to ask is compared to what? So let's do that tonight. Given that the first rule of a zombie attack is cardio, what I want you to do is have a look at the person on your left, have a look at the person on your right. If you can't outrun at least one of those people, <laughs> you need to get to the gym. Now, I don't just want you to survive. I want you to thrive in the zombie attack. Note that we're going to need some new personal trainers. OK, one of the other things that happens in any crisis situation is that we don't just run to the gym. We also run to the bank. In our case, we're going to be running to the ATMs. The ATMs are going to empty out. So if you want to be ready for that, one of the things you want to do is stash some cash. All right, we'll have all the cash and whatnot, but we won't be wanting to spend it. For some reason, we will always want to hang on to it. That means that if you're in retail, you're going to see your sales drop off. You might want to sell the store early. On the other hand, there are a couple of retail locations that are probably going to do pretty well. OK? You want to get into drugs. Drugs are going to be good. With that decrease in retail sales, we're going to start to see an increase in inventories. As inventories go up, we're going to have to decrease overall production. As production goes down, we're going to get a decrease in investment. We're going to be into a full-blown zombie recession. <laughs> now, the Congress and the administration will, of course, react to that, as they have in the past. And you can expect that we will have a zombie stimulus. <laughs> if you want to do really well in the zombie stimulus, get yourself pre-approved as a government contractor. <laughs> OK. The Federal Reserve will not be sitting on the sidelines. They will also be in the act. We've seen what they've already done. They did QE1. They did QE2. They did the twist. <laughs> what you can expect is that we're going to have QE zombie. Now, what's going to happen is the Federal Reserve is going to flood the banks with excess reserves. That's going to increase the money supply. As the money supply increases, interest rates are going to fall. As interest rates fall, bond prices are going to go up by bonds. As the attack continues, it's going to take its toll on the population. This is going to decrease the labor force. With a decreased labor force, one of the things that's going to happen to us is all of those desks out there in corporate America are going to go blank. In order to fill those things back up, they're going to have to raise the wage rate. As the labor wage rate goes up and the return to labor increases, the returns on the other factors of production will fall. We'll get a decrease in capital, increase in labor costs. Corporate profits are going to fall. Sell your stocks early, people. Now, the other thing that could happen is this is going to be a great time to ask for a raise. You know, if you want to be a remote worker in that backyard office, this is a time to go for it. OK, the next thing that's going to happen is because the money supply is still out there, but there's a lot fewer of us, and there are many fewer goods and services, we're going to have rampant inflation. At this point, you need to dump your financial assets and invest in real physical stuff. Might I suggest <laughs> shotgun shells. <laughs> Survival supplies might also be good. OK, so let's review what it is you need to be doing. Get to the gym, stash some cash. Get out of retail, get into drugs. <laughs> sell your b stocks, buy bonds. Oh and get ready to ask for a raise. <laughs> finally, all together now, finally, remember to enjoy the little things. <laughs> <laughs>